So what's with the shortened session? Does it mean something? No, it just means that the judge had a scheduling conflict, that's all. Hmm. Too bad you couldn't just cancel it all together. Sweetheart, you do not want this to drag on any longer than it has to, believe me. Excuse me, just a second. Hey. Hey. About yesterday, um, you and me out here, that kiss. Um. Hey, guys. Wow. <laughs> My own cheering section. Yeah. Did you get any uh, sleep last night? Do I look that bad? No. If someone on trial for murder, you look pretty darn good. Thank you. I think I'm fine. You didn't have to come. Actually, I did. Uh, I'm Liza's first witness today. And you do know what her focus is going to be. What I overheard Greenlee saying about wanting to kill David. Right. Madison, it's perfectly normal to feel just a little bit nervous. I'm glad to hear I'm normal. Yeah. But since you know the line of questioning, you're one step ahead of the game. Huh? That's right. Don't let Liza rally you, okay? No, I want to help Greenlee. Don't worry about that. All I want you to do when you sit down in that stand in there is take a deep breath and tell the truth. All right. Miss Colby, you're up. Okay, so the prosecution calls Madison North. Miss North, do you recall me visiting you at Mr. Labry's apartment last month? I do. So then you remember telling me that you heard Mrs. Hayward say that she wanted to kill her husband. Yes, but... Just answer the question, yes or no, please. Yes. And where were you when you heard her say this? Nowhere. I'm sorry? I wasn't anywhere when I heard it because I didn't hear it. When I told you that Greenlee said that, I was lying. We discussed that, remember? We did, didn't we? And why would you do that, Ms. North Lie? Because I was jealous. Uh, ju just to clarify for the jury, will you please uh, describe your relationship with Mr. Lavery? Um, we're dating. Is he your boyfriend? I guess you could say that, yes. Do you love him? Objection, relevance. Withdrawn. So, when you say you were jealous, you were jealous of Ryan and Greenlee, correct? Yes. Hmm. How come? It's no secret that Ryan and Greenlee have history. History? Well, that is really putting it mildly, isn't it? Ryan and Greenlee were married at one point, and they were just about to get married again prior to uh, Mrs. Hayward's accident. Isn't that true? Yes. Yes. So even though he was your boyfriend, you were afraid that romantic feelings still existed between Greenlee and Ryan. Ms. North, isn't that correct? I, I, I guess so. You guess so? Yes. Yes, okay, well that really brings up a very interesting point. I think we need to talk further about Greenlee and Ryan's relationship. So, Ms. North, when did this rekindled friendship between Ryan Lavery and Greenlee Hayward begin? Um, I don't, I don't know exactly. Give me a ballpark. Uh, I guess it would be around the time when David... The deceased? ...was charged with manipulating the books at Fusion. Which just happens to sync up with the accusations that he was responsible for Erica Kane's plane crash. I wouldn't know anything about that. Well, would you know anything about the fact that he was blackmailing Greenlee? No. No, of course you wouldn't. Objection. Argumentative. Sustained. Would you know anything about the fact that she wanted to leave her husband? Yes. For Ryan. What? No. Objection. No. Leading the witness. Sustained. Careful, Miss Colby. Uh, my apologies. Your Honor, permission to approach the bench. Granted. Mr. McCombie. I would just like to understand the relevance of this line of questioning. Well, this line of questioning goes to the motive, Your Honor. Not only am I trying to establish the fact that the defendant was being blackmailed by her husband. Allegedly. I'm like also notes. trying to establish the fact that she is still in love with her ex-husband. I'll allow it. Thank you. 
Ms. North, I, I'm sorry, this must be very difficult for you. I mean, having to admit that your boyfriend is being pulled back in by his ex. So would you say that Greenlee and Ryan are close? I guess so. Are they good friends? I'd say that, yes. And uh, as uh, Mr. Lavery's girlfriend, would you say that he ever put Greenlee's needs before yours? Greenlee was in trouble. She needed him. Hmm. And when she needed him, he was always there, right? That's who Ryan is. So he would never, let's say, ignore a phone call if, if she was in distress? No. Even if he was with you? It's not like that. Well, I, that just must have been really hard for you. Not really. Really, you have no problem with the fact that your boyfriend is at his ex-girlfriend's beck and call. He's a kind man, and he was worried about her. Ryan was worried about Greenlee. Yes. Mm. And was he worried about her because of her marriage? Yes. What was going on in her marriage? David was doing what he always did. I don't know, uh, twisting people, manipulating them. It's, it's no secret that Ryan hated David. And it's no secret that Greenlee hated David, too. Oh, objection. Sustained. You know better, Miss Colby. Thank you, Ms. North. No, you're twisting my word. No further questions. Your witness, Counselor. No questions, Your Honor. Why is this making it look like I killed David because I'm still in love with Ryan? Yes, I saw that. So why aren't you up there refuting it? Do you trust me? You know I do. Then believe me when I tell you I know what I'm doing. I am so sorry. Sorry for what? I just I feel like, like I couldn't have made Greenlee look any worse up there. Oh, come on. No, no you, you, you did fine. I just, I thought Liza was only going to ask me about what I overheard at your place. I had no idea she was going to start in on your relationship. Greenlee. Relax, it's okay. Really, you did exactly what you're supposed to do. Don't, don't, don't even worry about it. Greenlee's going to be fine. You don't know that. Yes, I do. Hey, everyone, please be seated. You can call your next witness. Your Honor, the prosecution rests. Well, in that case, court is adjourned for the day. We'll reconvene tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. It. Yeah, and she made a pretty good case. Now it's our turn. You think she got the jury on her side? Maybe. For now. But it's my job to change that. And Greenlee, I am very good at my job. I'm counting on it. I'm gonna go freshen up before I have to walk through the reporters outside. Fine, I'll wait for you. I guess uh, Greenlee is a little upset that you didn't cross-examine Madison. Yes, yeah, she is. Do you think that Liza knows what we're up to? No, I don't. She's actually set our defense up for us very nicely. Yeah, she has. Remind me to send her a gift basket or something. Remind me to send you one. And thank you again for putting your neck on the chopping block for Greenlee. Greenlee's innocent? Yes. But if this thing ends up biting you in the pot, just know I'm at your disposal. Well, thank you, Jack. I appreciate it. But don't worry about me right now. Let's just keep the focus where it needs to be. On Greenlight. I am so sorry. Don't be. The last thing I wanted was to hurt your case. I, I hope you believe that. Liza's a master at twisting the truth. Oh, here we are at your murder trial, and you're out here making me feel better. Trust me, I could yell at you if you'd like. I just, I just wasn't prepared for all those questions, you know? And, and when she came at me about you and Ryan, it's... If I made things worse for you... I'm not really sure that things could get worse at this point, actually, so... Well, I hope you beat this. I really do. Thank you. Hey. Hi. Boys allowed at this, uh, meeting? Uh, if the boy is you. <laughs> I'm gonna get some water. Anyone need anything? I'm fine. Yeah, no, I'm good. Okay, okay. I'll be right back. Okay. So, uh, how are you holding up? Truth? Always. 
I'd be better if you weren't here. What are you talking about? How do you think this looks, Ryan? My ex-fiance, ex-husband, ex-love of my life sitting behind me, supporting me day in, day out. We're giving the jury the wrong idea. Green No, no, we need to be smart about this. From here on out, you stay away from the trial. You don't want me here? Of course I do. Are you kidding me? When things get crazy and Liza's foaming at the mouth to turn around and see your face, you have no idea. Yeah, I got some idea. But Liza's laid some serious groundwork in there about my feelings for you, and the last thing we need is the jury thinking that I killed David to be with the man I really love. And since that's the story that Liza is spinning, we can't give her any more ammunition. Do you understand that? Totally. So you'll stay away? Not a chance. Did you just not hear everything that I just said? Because yesterday you kissed me, buggy. Okay, out of the all room. right, that, that was to shut you up, okay? That, that was for your own good. Really? You know, soon you'll have to face reality. If my dad gets me acquitted... When your dad gets you acquitted... They'll be coming for you. Especially if they think we're in love. You know what? You're not going to sell me on this, Greenlee. I'm sorry. Listen to me, No, you Ryan. listen to me. I'm going to be here until this is over, okay? And it will be over, I promise you. How do you know it will be over? Because you're going to make sure of it? Let it go. You're not going to take the let, fall for me, let Ryan. Let it go, Greenlee. I'm serious, please. No, when have you ever known me to let something go? Not happening. Not even if I ask really, really nicely. <sighs> Fine. So what if I ask really, really <laughs> nicely for you not to show your face around here? All right, how did you put it? Oh, that's right. Not happening. Forget all this asking crap. It's my trial, my decision. You need your friends around you, Green. Yeah, friends maybe, but you, me? And do, do you know how hard it is to ignore you when I know you're close by? To pretend that we're casual exes, and especially with the jury watching us like a hawk? I gotta go. Ryan. I'll see you tomorrow. No, listen, you show up tomorrow, I swear to God I'll have you thrown out of that courtroom. I'll see you tomorrow, Greenlee. Have a good night.